I saw the World of Boxing team in the bubble and I asked how Povetkin was and they said that he's still got 25% uh, lung damage. Um, what are you hearing? When do you think that this fight could happen? Um, you sort of said that the sparring partners are, think, you know, are, are going out, so you're staying ready. But are, you, are we looking like that January date might be pushed back to February now? Yeah, the January date is going pushed back. But Povetkin, they keep saying they need more time. February, March, I'm saying... That's long. I'm not going to wait six months and delay my career for him because what happened in six months, he get another attack. I, I, we don't know dangerous the COVID situation. In six, he might go in February, March. Oh, I need more time. I'm not sure. And, and then I, you've been I, on I'm pause not, I'm not, I'm for not six months. Yeah. I'm not willing to do that. So I'm saying to them, as as I'm as a proposal to them, listen, let me fight Luis Ortiz and I'll fight Povetkin after. That's what we're trying to get across to them. You know, and Luis Ortiz is a big fight. And then me and Povetkin becomes an even bigger fight if I beat Luis Ortiz. You know what I mean? So, you know, so uh, these guys, I don't know, man. I, my mindset is different from these guys, man. I, my mindset, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm silly or something, but I just want to fight. I don't care. Well, I just want to fight. You, you wanted to fight on the original date, didn't you? Um, I, well, you the you, original you, date I, was November 23rd. It got and delayed. you were a the boxer. They, they delayed it 10 days out from the fight. 10 days. Why wait till 10 days to delay it? To me, it's some it's fishy. Then I'm hearing sparring partners is going out next week, and then I'm hearing they got uh, they got Bacoli booked for for the first week in January to go out. It's like, what's going on? Then I'm hearing he's running and he's training. Then I'm hearing he went and see the physician. Then they're saying, ah, uh, he needs more time. I, I don't understand it. It's boxing is just boxing is crazy, full of um. It's so much confuse me because I'm in I'm in the game and I manage myself I hear a lot of information a lot more than what the normal general public hears mm. what about um what you what, what what you're hearing of this Gary uh Dillian White against Luis Ortiz interesting yeah it's an interesting fight it's a very interesting fight um the, at, at, at the top end I mean Ortiz is still at the top end of the heavyweights you know he's a he's He's just on that level below the elite. And, you know, he's still a name. He's, um, and uh, that's a great fight. I think that's a great fight for Dillian. Um, it would be a statement fight, as, as all these fights have been for Dillian, you know. Um, all these guys that he's faced over the couple of years, they've all had names. They've all had scintillating victories themselves. And then Dillian's gone out there and he's beaten them, you know. So, um, you know, an Ortiz fight makes sense to me if they can make it. It's not even a ticking over fight. It'll be... Uh, it's, it's a dangerous fight. It's not an easy fight. And you've got to applaud Dillian for still wanting to, to bring these names up when he is kind of quite close to a world title opportunity. Well, just fast forward just to, to next May. What, what do we think? Uh, are we going to see Joshua v Fury? Uh, that's the first question. And second question, are we going to see it for the undisputed heavyweight title? Um, Dillian, if you were putting your money, your house on it, what would you say? I don't think so because there's a few things. No, you killed us dead. No, no. I, 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 I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the sinus. I'm the sinus because I know, I know. I'm only pulling. The Wilder you. Fury situation needs sorting out. You know, either they're gonna pay him, or they're gonna fight him. And then obviously, me and Povetkin, we the, the mandatory situation is still up in the air. Fury could always vacate the belt and fight, fight into Joshua anyway. It's a big fight. I don't could make him franchise. He could fight into Joshua anyway. It's still a big fight, you know what I mean? So, and Joshua's, Joshua's got Usyk to deal with, and Usyk's saying, I'm not stepping aside. I want I want my shot, and rightly so. So, there's a few, there's three fights in, in the middle of, of making something from up, and then obviously, you know, obviously, Povetkin's um, delaying as well, which makes the manager situation a bit more tricky. And then Usyk's saying he wants a fight, and then Wadley's saying, rightly so, I deserve a third fight, because I've given you two fights off the back of... um. No ranking, nothing. I didn't need to. So, so rightly so. Even though they're saying while they're hiding from the fight, why well, rightly so? Um, Tyson Fury should fight him again. Would is there any part of you? Um, and this is just sort of speaking openly now. But is there any part of you that actually would want to see them fight for the undisputed title because you know that down the line, maybe not immediately, but down the line, you could get the chance to box either the the winner or the loser, uh, not the loser, obviously, but the winner of that fight for the undisputed titles. Is there any part of you that's like, yeah, I want them to fight? Or are you just like, look, business is business. If they, if this is what we signed up to, business is business, man. You know, if it makes sense and the guy's gonna fight, business is business. But you know, obviously, like I said, there's still things in the middle that needs sorting out. And you know, I've waited a long time for a mandatory. 
it's up in here at the minute. I'd love to take your business and then get back and get my manager shot finally, you know, but who knows what's happening? You know, one of them might win and just said, you know what, that's it. I've had enough. I've boxed long enough. I've, I've won all the belts. I don't want any more, you know? So mm. I don't want that to happen. I want to get my shot in before one of them retire because I want to <laughs> fight. In my mindset is there's only five fights left for me. And if I get those five fights, then I'm happy to call it a day, to be honest. You know, so I don't want any of these guys to retire. Is that is that what you've got your eye on then? So what would five fights take you? Another two years? Oh, you know, like two and a half years if you box twice a year? It, it depends on what these guys is. is, is it, it depends on what these guys are doing. You know, I, mean? I might have to have more. But if I get the five fights I want, then you know what I'm saying have those five fights to be um, Pavetkin, Luis Ortiz, Wilder, Fury, Joshua. You know, fight those guys. Then I thought everyone there is something to fight. Yeah, that's a, that's, yeah. that's a legacy. That's a legacy, right? That's a legacy. Even now, Pavet can keep delaying. They're saying he's sick. I'm saying, okay, that's fine. I, I want you to be at your best when I fight you. So tell you what, tell up as much time as you want. Let me fight Luis Ortiz um, in, 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 in February. And then I'll fight you late in the year because I want you to be, you know, you've had COVID. You've got probably your lungs. I want you to recover and be good. I'll fight Luis Ortiz in February and I'll fight Pavet King April, May time. You know, that's what I'm saying to them now, because I want him to recover. Obviously, he's a serious situation and he's older and he's he's had um COVID and this is long got problem. So let me lose our teeth fight and have to fight for it. You, you, mm. you know, but you know boxing goes, you know. Yeah. Eddie might be initiating conversation, but if Joshua is not ready and his team's not ready, then it's a yeah. whole different story. Eddie can initiate whatever he wants to initiate. You know, many yeah. fights don't happen because the promoters want it, because the promoter sees. Yeah. The, the, the money side and how big the fight is and whatever, then the fighters think, you know what? I'm not ready yet. I thought I was ready, but now these new yeah. coaches and new setup is teaching me different things that I'm thinking, well, in another six months, eight months, ten months, I'll I'll be able to beat this man easy. Yeah. But then Dill Dillian, as a you got to remember, you're a boxing man, right? Mm. And you're and you are a businessman because you manage fighters, right? Now you've got Fabio Wardley. Are you going to let Fabio Wardley fight a guy that you think is a 50 50 or even a 60 40 fight right now? Or are you going to just give him one more, a couple more fights to season and then go he, in for that fight? You know what I love about Fabio Wardley? He's got the same mm. mindset as me. And you understand that you need to take chances. And now we do something with the real with COVID and other things. We don't mm. know what's going to happen tomorrow or next week. You got yeah. to understand. These fights, when you miss the opportunity, you miss them. It's like Richard Rieke Paul. He got the call to fight Lawrence Acolia mm. at, at, at 10 days' notice, and he turned it down, and I'm pissed off. I'm like, dude, it's a chance to fight for the world title yeah. against yeah. Lawrence Acoli. You can bang. You're a bigger yeah. punch than Lawrence Acoli. Why? Yeah. And then you've been training all year. Why are you not taking the fight? I, I, I'm very annoyed at that. For me, if I phone up Dean Juma at 10 days, no, he'll say, right, there's a chance for Lawrence to call it for the world title. Dian, oh, billion you, you, percent. You tell him to take it. You know what I'm billion saying? Billion percent. I, billion I, I'm, percent. I'm so disappointed in Richard for, that, for not taking that fight. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. These guys have to realise nothing is guaranteed in boxing. You yeah. can spend 12 years and never get a world title shot. So you have to take what's there, you know? You have to. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. I do agree with you on that. Deontay Wilder finally mentioned your name, Dillian, didn't he? What does that did? Is that you know? <laughs> I mean, like he he finally. I think that's probably the first time he's mentioned. When I hear his name, I, no. I, I, I just get stressed when I hear his name. I just get stressed. I just when people mention the entire word his name to me, I just get stressed. I get so stressed up. It's crazy because once again, someone else want to fight me because they ain't got no. Parker didn't want to fight me when he had the title. I tried to fight him. No. Lucas Brown, I tried to fight him. No, you know, um, all of these guys, I tried to, the entire world, I tried to fight him when he's champion. No, now they've all lost. They want to fight me after, you know. Luis Ortiz, I tried to fight Luis Ortiz three or four times. No. Pevetkin, I tried to fight him three or four times before. No, but when they're in a bad position, they want to fight me now because it's, it's win-win for them. If they lose, they get paid well. If they win, then they're back in the free. These guys ain't got no respect. I mean, is it a silly question that it, if he if he came to the table with a serious offer that you would entertain that, or is it, is it are you in that meeting? Are you in that meeting? I would love to smash Wilder's face. I would love to smash the entire Wilder's face in. I would love nothing more than to smash his face in. 
you know. It's one of the fights where, you know, I'll be very, I'll be charged up, you know. I'll go out in the first round and just start going, going after him, you know what I mean? Because it is frustrating, man, but it's still a big name. And like I said, I list him as one of the opponents I want to fight earlier, as one of my five opponents, because mm. he's, like, you know, he's one of the top guys and I'd love to fight him. I'd love to fight him, but you have to be serious. We offered him... I think $7 million once and he turned it down when he was making $1 million to fight Luis Ortiz. So, all serious is he? Yeah. 